What's the difference between a power flush and a chemi chemical flush, you may be wondering. Um, you've had a boiler quote or you're doing some research and you're trying to figure out how best to clean your heating system before the new boiler goes in. Um, and a general rule of thumb for me is I would recommend a chemical flush if um, all the radiators in the property are currently getting warm. There's been no complaints of uh, radiators failing um, and the boiler has, has been behaving properly and you just really want to update the boiler because it's, it's getting onto its last legs, but it is currently heating the system. Um, so I'll, I'll explain exactly how a chemical flush is done towards the end of the video, and I'll also explain how a power flush is done. A power flush um, is, is more of an intensive way of cleaning the heating system. So I'm going to show you what to expect with the power flush and also how we set one up and what to look out for if you've been quoted one because it will cost a lot more for a power flush than it will for a chemical flush. So yeah, hope you find this video useful. Right, so I've got the power flushing machine connected. Um, as you can see, I've removed the radiator and I've connected the flow and return pipes to the supply and return hoses on the power flushing machine. And that's gonna then allow the pump to circulate the pressure and the water and the chemicals from here around the rest of the heating system. Um, I've also included a MagnaClean filter, um, so this can then actually pull dirt from out of the contaminated water um, as it's circulating, which just speeds up the process. Um, that's just um, uh, a feature that I've added over recent years and found that the performance and the efficiency of a power flush is, is much better for us. Um, I've also got the water inlet hose. This is connected to the garden tap outside. This is the dump hose. This is then going to the drain outside. Um, so we can get rid of the dirty water whilst it continues to circulate and remove sludge from the system. So if you're a homeowner and you've, you've paid for a, um, a power flush, or you're not sure whether you're getting a power flush or a chemical flush, then your heating engineer should be fetching a machine like this into the property which looks like a mechanical octopus like there's there's pipes and tubes going everywhere um, and if you're not seeing a machine like this um, whilst you're having your boiler installed um, then you've got to ask questions really because there are engineers unfortunately out there who are claiming they're doing a power flush and doing a chemical flush or doing no flush at all and you know ripping customers off so to be clear, you want to be seeing one of these machines if you're having a power flush. So, this is the exciting part. We get to see what sort of dirt we've pulled out of the heating system after power flushing. So, let me show you. So, that's what we've got on our filter. And additionally, what, what I also do is put another magnet inside the tank of the flushing machine and that's got um, a significant amount of dirt off as well. So um, yeah, that, all that stuff is out of the heating system now. It means that it's gonna be working more efficiently. Um, the water's gonna flow around the heating system quicker and it's not gonna be heating these, these horrible shards of corroded metal. Um, and those are the kind of things that block boilers, um, break heat exchangers and prevent radiators from working so very important to get that out of your system. So the difference with the chemical flush is that instead of using the high intensity flushing machine with a huge pump on it you use the central heating pump that is installed already on your heating system to push the chemicals around the heating system. So first of all you put the cleaner in that would circulate around um, until it collected all the loose debris and removed any uh, sludge that may be sitting loosely in your central heating system. And then after an hour of that heating up, um, you would then flush it out by draining the whole central heating system until you remove all the water that's been circulating. And what you find is that uh, that water would be uh, discoloured in some sort of way. Um, once you're happy with that, which but you would add this cleaner to a radiator or a filter, or there's no rules really, you can put this in anywhere on the, your heating system. I usually choose a towel radiator because it's the highest, it's usually the highest point 
Um, so it's very easy to remove these caps and pour the cleaner into the radiator, which you can see on another video should you wish to. Um, after that, once your heating engineer has finished cleaning, um, they will add um, inhibitor. Um, this is the Sentinel X100, but there's other brands on the market. I would go with a branded inhibitor rather than a non-branded uh, inhibitor. Um, but the same process applies. Um, you would add it via a drain, uh, a plug on one of the radiators um, and let it circulate through the system until it has fully protected. Um, I'll just make a point that you also use the same chemicals on a power flush. But the main difference is with a power flush, you've got the, the high intensity pump Whereas the chemical flushes, you are just using the existing pump on the heating system, which is absolutely fine if your system's not contaminated in any way. Um, it's just got loose debris and it needs a, a bit of a clean. A general rule of thumb is if, if previously you could feel your heating system getting warm everywhere and your boiler's just packed in, it, can, it will tell you that your, your routes to the radiators and the, and the radiators generally will be in okay condition. But if you do want to double check that, you want to just drain a little bit of your heating system at the lowest point generally and just check the water content and if it looks dirty or heavily contaminated with black sludge, then it needs a power flush. If it's clear and everywhere's getting nice and warm, then a chemical flush will be more than uh, acceptable. Hope this has helped.